what's going on guys welcome back to my channel deconstructing narcissism uh so i'm really mad um in the video this title is going to be to all the slumlords that work in my old apartment complex you can all get fucked every one of you can get fucked okay so the story is i recently moved out of my shithole apartment complex and before moving out, we did all the general stuff. We did the vacuuming. We did the cleaning. We wiped down the counters. Um, we wiped the oven. Uh, we did literally everything that we needed to do in the lease. And everything was fine at first. Everything was fine at first. We, we gave them back the keys. Me and my girlfriend, um, they said they would notify us about a deposit. Two and a half, three weeks almost went by. Knew nothing about where the deposit was or anything. And all of a sudden one day I get this threatening mafia style ransom, ransom email. Threatening me that I have to pay them $219 for some unknown reason that they did not specify in the email. So I, I end up trying to call Harbor Lake Apartments for like three days they, the manager was has had been dodging my calls for like the, the, those past three days. They had just been dodging both me and my girlfriend's calls. So we had to fucking drive all the way down to where my apartment complex is and go inside the office and speak to the manager. The manager did not give us her name and she refused to speak to us. Um, She refused at first to speak to us in private in her office until we finally made it known that we're not fucking around and we want to speak to her. So we go inside the office and she proceeds to tell me a list of charges of a list of charge, all these charges that I owe. First of all, she never said anything about my deposit. And it turns out that she actually took my deposit, which was $400 for charges that were their problem. Okay. Apartment complexes are not supposed to charge for wear and tear, things like paint, things like the blinds falling off. Like this is normal wear and tear that they were charging me for. Stuff that, that was not under my control. So they charged me for the blind, the, the blind that just randomly fell one day, by the way. I had nothing to do with that. They charged me for the countertops because the paint was peeling off and you know why the paint was peeling off is because they had painted over the fucking countertops so many times that the paint was just literally peeling off that's how that's all they do when they renovate the apartment for the next person that's gonna or for the next sorry soul that's gonna live there and all they do is they paint the apartment countertops and they paint the bathtub because the bathtub <laughs> by the way was literally changing colors just from using it and it was growing mold on it so they took my fucking deposit and they charged me for all that but what's interesting is the the uh, the owner the the manager lied to both of our faces lied to our faces me and my girlfriend about not charging me for the tub because the tub wasn't my problem at all. The tub was changing colors by itself and the paint was peeling off and it was getting moldy by doing nothing. Oh, I'm so fucking mad at them. So I get home, I check the rental site I, where, where I pay my rent and the fees that I need to pay. And sure enough, the charge for the tub was on there for $45. So the manager literally lied to our faces about not charging me for the tub and when I get home, there's the charge right there on the re on the rental site for $45. So she completely lied to our faces about the rental uh, about the charge for the bathtub. We got charged I got charged for the bathtub. I got charged for the blinds and the paint peeling off even though the paint just peels off on its own. Um and she charged me an additional $219 for this the sewage and the water but what i don't understand is i would my sewage and my water bills were only about 50 60 bucks at the most and all of a sudden as soon as i decide not to renew the lease i get a 219 dollar charge for the sewage and the water and and the garbage like <laughs> so 
In total, I had to pay six hundred and nineteen dollars to the. They they robbed my entire deposit and then some, and they gave me nothing back. and And they didn't even tell me what the email was for that I was being charged for. They literally just sent a ransom email saying I owe them two hundred nineteen dollars, and I better pay the fuck up or it's going to be sent to collections. So in total, I had to pay six hundred and nineteen dollars to these crooks. For charges that shouldn't even have even 